Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyS2Root.com. So there is dual booting method now. Um, so while I'm going to do this, well, uh, I would show you. Um, first of all, this is the way you can do it. Um, basically, you can clone your existing ROM um, into a secondary uh, file system. So there's two file. There's an extra file system for your second ROM. So basically, I got resurrection ROM here and uh, basically you can restore any of your backups after you move it to the second ROM um, and have two ROMs that way or you can just install a new ROM after you move this one to the uh, secondary so I'm actually gonna install the F1 Galaxy Nexus ROM um, with the re uh, resurrection so I'm gonna make the resurrection uh, secondary since already running. So to do this, you'll need to install Sia kernel. Um, if you don't know how, I have links where it uh, shows you how to do that, very easy. Um, I would suggest only running dual booting ICS ROMs um, because why would you, I don't know, I, I don't know if there's anybody still on gingerbread for i9100. Um, but the uh, the kernel has to stay the same and uh, you, you have to keep using Sia kernel, which I highly recommend. So what you want to do um, is uh, boot into Clock Format Recovery, volume up, center button, and the power button. And make sure if you're going to install another ROM on the uh, primary, make sure you copy the files over. I already did, but I'll, I'll walk you through kind of here, so you kind of get it, get the idea here. And you you will have to flash the Sia kernel again. Um, so make sure you have that kernel file in there also uh, when you install a new ROM that is. So I'm gonna go to dual boot options here if you have a uh, this is the SIA kernel clock recovery if you install SIA kernel you'll get this recovery dual boot options and then um, there's a bunch of things don't worry about it clone primary to secondary alright this is what you want to do and say yes and this will basically create a new partition for the secondary ROM um, and make whatever you're using right now into a secondary ROM and then basically you have to install something new on the prim primary um, or if you have any backup ROMs you can restore it using the Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, backup feature or restore feature and uh, I'll be back when this is done so it is done um, this is the message I got here and uh, there's all these options you can do. Uh, I'm not going to go into it, but it should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, um, so, well, let's actually go over it. Like, clone secondary ROM to primary is like if you have a ROM in the secondary, then you can move it to the primary. Also, remove the secondary ROM if you want. And also, you can swap primary secondary ROMs. Um, for example, you want to install a new ROM. Um, but you don't want to touch the one you're using, then you swap it. Um, that way, the new ROM you install will go on the primary. Um, backup secondary ROM, restore as secondary ROM. You can also restore to the secondary ROM. So all these uh, things you can do. And uh, all right. And next, we're gonna do. Um, I think we can actually do it from the main menu or do it from here. Well, I'll do it from here, I think um, that will work too. So I'm going to do, actually not, just, just go back and let's do it in the main menu. So I'm just going to do a regular install of this new ROM, F1 Galaxy Nexus ROM. White Beta Factory Reset, alright. Since the main menu it won't touch the secondary, so you can just do the main menu. Um, it's a little bit confusing, but should work. Uh, this is actually my first time doing it. Don't tell anybody. Um, install zip from SD card. Hit the power button. Choose zip from S, uh, SD card or internal SD card wherever you copy the ROM files to. And then I'm gonna go to my download folder where I put all my files. And there we go. There's my F1 Galaxy Nexus um, ROM. So I'm gonna install this. And this one actually comes with separate Google apps, so I just have to flash that right after. And then you'll also want to install um, the SIA kernel over it because when the, most of the ROMs they'll come with their own kernels and sometimes they're SIA kernels, kernels sometimes they're not. Um, but just to make sure, I'm going to flash a SIA kernel over it. Um, so it's almost.
almost done. Let's see in the progress bar here. And also, if you have any ROM suggestions, I uh, always forget to tell you this. Don't forget to tell me about it. Um, I I actually read every comment you guys write, and I have a little little um, document, Google Docs spreadsheet that where I put all your requests, and I actually do most of them, 99%. So I have to t or tell me any ROMs that you've been using that are good. You know, it's a team effort. <laughs> um, choose zip from as internal SD card again, and I'm gonna. Um, Install the Google Apps since this app comes with Google Apps. So I'm just going to install Google Apps over it real quick. And also install the um, SIA kernel over it after you install the ROM because otherwise your the dual boot functionality will be lost when you um, if you don't forget to if you don't have SIA kernel. So I'm going to go to choose uh, no choose from internal SD card. Go to my download folder again. And uh, oh, you know what? I have it now. I have that file in my SD card, so I'm gonna go choose it from SD card and go find my download directory. There we go. And there's my SIA kernel. So make sure you have that SIA kernel. Uh, I'm gonna install SIA kernel over the current ROM and go back and reboot system now. And now during during boot up, um, you'll have an option to boot into the second ROM. But I'm gonna let it boot into the ROM I installed just now, and uh, we'll we'll try that again later. See, it says press home or volume down to boot the secondary. Um, so if I press home or volume down during the beginning of the boot, boot in the secondary. But now it boot into my primary, the ROM I just installed, the F1 Galaxy Nexus uh, ROM, uh, which is actually. Um, I'll have a ROM review uh, this week. That's actually ROM of the week um, for GalaxyS2Root.com. And uh, this should boot up shortly. And probably tomorrow I'm going to do all the Nexus S and the Galaxy Nexus ROM of the weeks. Um, and uh, I've been so behind in tablets. so, But I'll get to it. I have a, like a to-do list just getting longer and longer. It's like I don't work for anybody, but I have all these things to do, which is which is fun actually. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. Um, anyway, I'll be back. This is getting kind of long. There we go. So I have F1 um, ROM here, and the SIA kernel is just great for this kind of stuff. And let me just skip through all this stuff real quick. And, uh, huh, that's pretty cool. So I've got two ROMs running and I can dual boot them. Um, since it's actually a different file system for the thing, there's no, it's actually true dual boot. Um, before I would use the Clockwork Mod Recovery Backup and Restore feature. But this is awesome now, I can dual boot. So I have the SIA kernel working fine with the Galaxy F1 Galaxy Nexus ROM. Um, let's go boot it back into um, my resurrection ROM. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it. Because uh, I flash a lot of ROMs, so this will help me test out two ROMs on the go. I'm on the bus or on the airplane. Actually, I don't even go on the airplane that much. But I'm going to hit the home button right here. Now it's booting the secondary ROM. And now I have resurrection ROM um, and SIA kernel. So that's my resurrection ROM there. Uh, look at that. Oh yeah. That's the way to do it. Um, oh yeah. I gotta go do something at 3. Anyway, um, so I showed you how to dual boot. Now I have two ROMs running. This is a great method. Um, that way, you know, if you don't have the time to switch ROMs on the go, and uh, you know, sometimes there's two ROMs that you really like, and one of them have problem with something, and one of them have problem or whatever. Now you can have two ROMs. Um, dual boot, freaking awesome, kicks ass. Uh, anyway, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com, um, where I update you once a week or twice a week with uh, the best of the week, um, stuff like this, and you don't get all the junk. Um, and also, uh, also we, we don't share your email with anyone else. And uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me here. 
um, subscribe button up here and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And if you have a certain um, request for ROM request, hack request, boot animation, uh, leave it in the comments below and I'll put it in my to-do list and they will eventually turn into a video and I'll give you a shout out if I do. Um, thanks again guys for supporting my channel and stay high on Android folks and see y'all later. Have fun. You bootin'.